Hi, this is Kathy at ICP DAS USA. And today we're doing a demo on our free HMI work software with one of our 4.33 inch touch pads um, and one of our Modbus TCP data acquisition modules. We have touch pads that range from 2.8 inches up to seven inches. And the one I'm gonna do a demo on today is a 4.33 inch a touchpad screen. Um, and uh, we have tons of data acquisition modules um, that can handle a variety of protocols, such as Modbus TCP, Modbus RTU, and DECON protocol. So I'm going to share my screen now. So here we are. This is our free HMI Works software. And the first thing I'm going to do is a new project. So the TPD module that I have here today, uh, it's the 4.33 inch TPD uh, module. It's a TPD 33F dash H. And for our project name, it's going to be uh, Modbus TCP test. Um, the next thing you want to do as you want to decide where you want to keep your project, you're going to choose the orientation. Do you want to have a portrait orientation or a landscape orientation? I'm going to go with the landscape. And to, you have an option of uh, programming types of standard C or ladder logic. Today, we're going to be doing ladder logic. So I'm going to hit OK here. Now you've got your, your blank screen. So I'm going to go over to over here to workspace. And the first thing we're going to do is create a um, Modbus connection to our data acquisition module. So I'm going to right click on connection and choose new connection. So this works fine. I'm going to choose the default connection name. The IP address of my data acquisition module is 21.127.198. Dot 192 um, using port 502. And uh, now I'm going to click OK. That's created my uh, connection. I'm going to go under device here, new device. So I'm going to have my touchpad be a Modbus TCP master. So the device series that I'm going to be choosing is uh, PET. 7000 PET stands for power over Ethernet. Um, it should be noted that the power over Ethernet and the Ethernet series um, modules correspond with like the same numbers. So in this case, I happen to have available an ET module instead of a PET module, but I'm going to choose this because it's the closest. The model name for the module that I have is the PET. 2026. So I'm going to say, okay, I want that one. Okay. And so here's our device name. And this all looks good. It's the various modules that we, the module channels that we have analog inputs 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, we have an analog output 0 and 1. And so we're going to say, okay. Now, one of the things I'm going to demonstrate is, you know, how to scale a channel. So I'm going to go under virtual. I'm going to create a virtual tag. Virtual tags are places for you to hold the information um, that you don't have a real tag for. So once I scale the value, I want to have a place to display it. So I'm going to choose new virtual tag. So I'm going to basically call it scaled value. Notice there are no spaces. It doesn't like spaces. So I'm going to leave it with no spaces and I scale value. OK, so now that I've got this, um, the next thing I want to do is do a background. Now you have the variety of you can import an image if you'd like into your um, project. If you have a paint. Um, you can use something like paint to create something like a logo, 
you can also, you know, you can actually even put a photograph in here. Uh, to do that, you would go under File Menu, you go Import Images to Library, and um, you would say Select File. So you pick files that you would want to, um, you know, can be any sort of photograph that you have. Um, and you can just say, Open it up. And once you open it up, it's going to take your picture and it is going to convert that picture into a .hwd file that this program can use. So then that's done. We can close out of here. So when you want to pick your background, you would go in um, to libraries and you can choose background. If you if I wanted to say pick the picture that I just entered, I would go under pictures. And um, there's that the picture that basically uh, I just imported. So it shows you the picture that could go for your background. In this case, though, I am going to choose one of the backgrounds that we already have. So I'm going to go under background. So to get here, I went under the library tab. And then I use the pull down arrow and I select background. And this gives me all the pre-made background images that are available. You can see there's a whole bunch of different ones of various types. Um, so I'm going to scroll down. There's one I kind of think is cheerful, and that is weather, sunny day. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it over onto my frame here. And now I'm going to expand it. Just very simply, you can drag it. And move it around. So I'm going to drag it down here into the corner. There we go. So now I've got my background. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the toolbox. So we have a drawing section under toolbox where you can put in various different things, arrows, rectangles, ellipse, text, pictures, lines. So I'm going to grab a text box here and I'm going to put a little text box down here. I'm also going to put another little text box up here in the corner. Let's see, grab it again, I guess. There we go. Put one here. And I think I'm going to put one down here. Stay. Okay. So this is going to be for scale value. So now I'm going to go to inspector. This is highlighted and this is highlighted. If you go under inspector, it gives us that this is our text eight box. Let's see if I can move my little picture out of the way. So you can see this is a text eight box. This is this text box. I can type in here under text. And I'm going to put in scale value in here. Okay, now I'm going to go up to this text box. Now this is text seven in here. I'm going to type in a voltage input. I hit enter, it shows up. And then over here, I'm going to type it in text the uh, voltage output. Oh. Here. <laughs> Enter. There we go. So, oh, what did I just do? Something in my way. Ooh, there's something there. Okay. Yep. All right, now I'm going to come over here and we've got widget palette. So on our widget pod, we've got an arrow, we've got a text push button. In this case, I'm going to grab a slider. So I'm going to drag my slider over here, and I'm going to expand it. Oh, I want the slider. Yeah. Yeah, 
There we go. Where is my sign? Okay. Now, I'm, this is for my voltage output. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to choose here analog output one voltage. Double click. Now that will fill that in to my slider over here. The tab. Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't double click. Got to double click or it doesn't take. Yeah, there we go. There's my tag name right there. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come up <clears throat> and I'm going to grab some labels. And the labels let you see the values that you want. So I want to drag this label to my, I guess I have to unselect. There we go. Put one up here to show what the actual value of my voltage is. There we go. All right, now I'm going to grab a label two, my scale value. I'll put this down here. And then another label over here because I want to see my value for my uh, voltage output. Go. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, now we have our little displays here. I think I'm going to go back to my slider. And um, <clears throat> I like the idea of fill color other than black. So the default fill color happens to be black. I think I want a nice turquoise. So I'm going to choose that for my fill color. So that changes that color. Okay, now that we've done this, I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to our ladder logic program. It's doing a very simple program here. I'm going to grab this little F7 block. There we go. And I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to go under math. So I am going to choose scaling here. So this gives us our little scaling block. <clears throat> So say my, my voltage module, um, my voltage channel can put out a voltage between zero and 10 volts, but say my analog input can only handle about two and a half volts. What I wanna do is we're doing in, um, this I'm gonna give you the channel. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to choose my voltage output is gonna go in here. So that's my analog output. I'm gonna double click, that puts that there. So here we're doing my scaling. So I want to scale that. Okay. So the input maximum is going to be a constant of, this is in millivolts, so 2,500 millivolts, which is basically two and a half volts. And then, so I'm going to say okay on that. And then the maximum, that is, the minimum now is going to be zero. Put a zero in here. So this is going to limit my voltage output to be between zero and two and a half volts. So I'm going to scale that to be two and a half volts is 100%. So I'm going to click over here and the constant here is going to be my 100%. 100. And the minimum is zero. And my result is going to, I'm going to store that in my scaled value. So it's down here at the very bottom. Come on. Right. There we go. So I'm click on there. I got my scale value. So now I'm going to close out of this window. Let's save. Let's save that. I'm closing out of this window. So now we are ready to download 
Let me just verify. No, nope. actually, I gotta put my labels in. All right, so now I'm gonna connect my tags to my little labels so I can actually get the values. So again, voltage output is right over here. So analog output zero. And voltage input is analog input zero. And then scaled value. Click on that. I'm gonna scroll down and get my scaled value. You can see over here your properties are filled in. This is a scaled value for label 12, label 11. There's a tag there for that one. And then over here for label 13, you got the tag for that one. Down here, I've got my tag in there. One more thing that I need to do before I can download to my PPD is I want to fix my scaling. Move this out of the way. I go on to double click on here. So it was a single click. And I look at right here, the minimum on my slider, I want to be zero, but the maximum I want for my 2,500 millivolts or two and a half volts for my scaling on my slider. So now I've got that. Let's make sure it took okay. And there we are on that. And now I am ready to download. So I'm gonna go up to run and render compile download and there we go and it will download to my tpd and then i will be able to show it working so now you see that we've got our touchpad you can see this really well and we've got it set up for 2490 which is like almost the maximum scale i can come and i can touch on there and change the value. And as I change the value, it's gonna change the value for the output. So if we go to my web page, so our data acquisition modules, the, the Modbus ones have web pages. So here's my little web page. And here's the analog output. So there, right now we can see we've got voltage and we can change it up and you can see on the page that the voltage is increasing as we go up or decreasing as we go down all you have to do is press on the touch screen and it's basically giving you what you want okay here's our finished touchpad screen touch the slider we can change the voltage so it's putting out um, basically 1282 millivolts and now it's up to 2065 millivolts which is a scaled value of 82 percent go all the way up to just about the 2500 millivolts and then down again so now you can see that's what we're reading on our screen for the voltage going into the module. And as I change it on the screen, you can see that it updates on the module. Well, I think that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email us um, or chat with us on our website. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.